Welcome back to my channel. This is Amelia with Pretty Nail Notes. Hi guys, I just wanted to share my new logo with you. Um, chime in in the comments and let me know what you think about it. But let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so today we're going to be uh, swatching. So let's go ahead and get started. The color that you see me swatching now is called Green Forest. It's a D&D &D, number 568. And my daughter's actually taking the colors from me and sticking them in the light. And we're curing them for about um, 60 seconds. The second color is a very beautiful color. It is called Velvet. And the number is 739. And it is a D&D &D color as well. These two in the white jars are the original gels. The one in the gold is the 100% gels. Okay, this uh, beautiful yellow color here is called Glossy Stars. It's D&D. Number 259, and that is such a beautiful spring, summer color. I love it. I can't wait to do something beautiful with that. Okay, so this next color here is called Mermaid Blue. This is the second coat, and it is a D&D &D, number 257, and that is Mermaid Blue. It's so pretty. Okay, so this next color is Egyptian Purple. It is so vibrant, you guys. So beautiful. I don't even like purple that much, but I can't wait to get this on my toes. It's Egyptian Purple D&D &D 264. This last color that you see me swatching here is called Light McCoy. L-I-G-H-T McCoy. M-A-C-O-R-E. It's a D&D &D color as well. And it um, the number is 051. And that concludes the gels. I only got... Um, a small amount of gels when I visited the um, nail supply warehouse this time. So we're going to move right along. The color that I just swatched previously is moving really fast. It's called Stay Neutral. It's a color blend collection. Um, and that's the Glam and Glitz. And it is the number is 3010. The color that I'm actually swatching right this moment is called Rose Quartz. That is part of the Color Blend collection as well. And it is with the um, Glam and Glitz. And it um, its number is Okay, this beautiful purple color here, this color is called New Wave. It is a Glam and Glitz acrylic color. And again, that is called New Wave. You guys, I apologize. That is not New Wave. The color that you see me swatching right now is called Dazzle Lilac. And it is a Glam and Glitz. But it's actually called Dazzle Lilac. And that number is FA544. I do apologize for that. But that's FA544 Glam and Glitz Dazzle Lilac. Okay. And then this color that you see me swatching here, the name of it is Oasis. And it is a Glam and Glitz color as well. It is our acrylic glitter. And it's a very blue pewter. It has reflections of green and yellow and kind of like a rosy gold looking um, reflection. But this is a very beautiful color. And again, it's called Oasis from Glam and Glitz. And it's FA535 on the Glam and Glitz. Those were the only two glitter. I think those were the only two glitter acrylics that I purchased this time. 
I think I only got those two. So, you guys, every time I get ready to do a video, my voice is always raspy. I'm usually not raspy, but I'm kind of raspy tonight. As always. <laughs> By the end of the day, it's over for me. That oasis is really, really beautiful. Okay, so this color that I'm swatching now, this is actually a mood color. And the it's a in the red family. It's more um it's more on the maroon side than it is red, but it could pass for both. It does have a shimmer effect to it and also glitter. Uh, and it has a reflective glitter. It's not just a flat glitter, but it is a reflective glitter. Um, and the name of this is No Regrets. And it is a Glam and Glitz Mood Color. And the number is ME1026. It's a beautiful red. When I look at it, I think scarlet. So you guys can let me know what you think. But I'm I'm feeling scarlet. <laughs> And the name is No Regrets, though. And that's N-O-R-E-G-R-E-D-S. No Regrets. Yeah. Okay. So this next color that I'm swatching is a beautiful green. It's a mood green. I feel like this would be pretty if you creating, if um you would like to create maybe like a jade nail, because I feel like every time you look at this color by it being a mood color, it'll give you a different effect. So I'm thinking, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking that it'll be beautiful if you marble it with a white or either like a neon green or either a softer jade green, marble it with that color. And then... um see what it does i'm thinking it's gonna have a beautiful effect but uh, i may do that on my practice hand i don't know but this color is called green light go it's a glam and glitz color it's a mood color as i said before the number is me 1014 and the name is green light go exclamation mark <laughs> green light go I've been feeling a lot of greens, so I did purchase several greens. I've been purchasing a lot of greens and browns lately for some odd reason. So, but it's good to have a variety of colors. So this color here that I'm about to swatch right now is called Dust Till Dawn. Is it Dust Till Dawn? Or is it Mud Bath? Yeah, this color is called Dust Till. You guys, let me check my records. I might be telling you guys the wrong thing. Hold up. Yeah, this color is definitely called Dust Till Done. And it's a Glam and Glitz mood color. And it's, the number is 1036. I had to make sure. So that's Dust Till Done, 1036 mood color, Glam and Glitz. Yeah. Okay, so this color is a different brand. I'm trying something new. And the brand is Chisel. Chisel Acrylics. And I like this color. It's very beautiful. And it's the chisel colors. The thing about the chisel colors, they don't name their colors. So this color is just uh, solid. They have uh, categories. And the category that this color is in is under is a it's called solid, so it's solid sixty three. That's chisel solid sixty three. But this is one of those colors that I was just saying that I would that I was thinking about mixing with the green that I just showed you in the glitz and glam mood color. The name of it was um. Mm, 
green light go. I would mix, mix this chisel like, um, I wouldn't ombre a mood color, but I would mix this ch um, chisel solid 63 with that green light go in a marble design. And I think that'll be pretty. So I'm gonna have to try that out. Keep that on my mind. But this is a beautiful color. This solid 63, it's the perfect jade color that you could possibly get, I think. And their colors, their acrylics go on like butter. Like when you instantly, when your acrylic liquid touch the chisel acrylic, it instantly um, glosses over like butter. It it literally it looks like smooth, creamy butter. <laughs> I like the chisel, so I, I've started building my collection up. Okay, so this brown that I'm going to swatch now is also a chisel brand um, acrylic. And it's part of the Ombre uh, collection, and it's OM58B. So that's OM58B, and that brand is Chisel. It's a beautiful chocolate. Mm. My daughter loves chocolate. She always talking about chocolate nails, chocolate nails. So we made sure we got some chocolate. And that chisel OM fifty eight B. Okay, you guys, I'm definitely going to take advantage of these breaks. <laughs> okay, this acrylic color here is actually one of my new colors as well. I did forget that I... um. I did forgot, forget that I purchased these, but this is this one is called Cashmere, and it's a glam and glitz color. The number is DA sixty six, and it's called Cashmere. No, that's DA68. Okay. That is actually Blue Rain, you guys. I apologize again. That's Blue Rain Glamour Glitz DA66 that I just watched. And this one, this pink um, tint one is actually called Cashmere. And it's the Glamour Glitz DA68. So, correction. The one before this was Blue Rain Glamour Glitz DA68. This one with the pink tint is called Cashmere and it's Glam and Glitz DA66. So that's 66 and 68. Cashmere is the, with the pink tint. Blue Rain was the first one that kind of looked gave you like a diamond, a diamond effect. That was the Blue Rain.
I got so many colors, I get mixed up. And then I'm having to do my own editing. <laughs> so it's a struggle in itself. But let's keep it moving. This beautiful bright sunflower color is a Glam and Glitz. And the name of this color is Sunflower. And it gives me sunflower. It's giving what it's supposed to be giving. <laughs> yes, come through Glam and Glitz with the sunflower that's named Sunflower. And it's a really it's a really vibrant goldish yellow and it has shimmer. It has sh ooh, the shimmer is really really beautiful. And to add a gold flake, a couple of gold flakes to this sunflower would be beautiful or to do uh or just to create a sunflower itself, um nail art on the um on the nail and mix it with some green leaves like it's going to be really beautiful. That's a beautiful color, sunflower. I was going for the more vibrant colors uh, for spring and summer. I did get a couple of dark colors just because I needed them. But um, I also needed some bright colors for spring and summer as well. So I did go, um, go with a variety in mind. So yeah, that's the sunflower number 75 Glam and Glitz. So this color here that I'm swatching now this is it looks like satin you guys but I'm I have to wait because this is a voiceover unfortunately um the recording that I previously did um as I was swatching the um acrylics didn't turn out as well as I thought it would so I decided to go back later on days later and decide to do this voiceover um <clears throat> to make the video more um uh, you know just better period so um if i say the wrong number to these acrylics it's because i have already put them up in their respective places and i'm having to go back in my swatches and try to remember what i bought when where how and what <laughs> so I'm just trying to call it call it by eyesight. So yeah, that is DD88. So that is, as I said, the satin. I was right. So that was the satin glam and glitz DA88. Now this dark color here, I know exactly what this is. It's called black lace. And it's such a beautiful color. It is really beautiful. Um, it's glam and glitz DA number 79. And this color, I have um, a few black acrylics. I think I got two other black acrylics. But this is my, actually my favorite black. And it does have shimmer in this black. When you look at it, it's called black lace. But when I look at it, I, I don't know. It's, it kind of puts me in the mind of um, like looking up at the sky at night when it's real black. Like when there's no moon or... It's just a a, a, lit, a little bit of moon, and that's what it looks like to me. But it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It has shimmer, and I like the shimmer. So that was the black lace DA seventy nine. If you're looking for a beautiful black with shimmer, that's it. I originally, um, I have a lot of glam and glitz. <coughs> excuse me. I have a lot of glam and glitz. Um, colored acrylics because that's what I e originally started going towards but now I've actually branched out into other brands so I've started picking up um, chisel um, I'm building my brand there in this haul I think I've only purchased about I think I just did two chisels on this this haul because I wanted to try them but the next time my next trip to the um, nail supply store, I actually picked up about, um, let's see, I picked up seven more chisels. So my, my um, collection of chisels is, gro is growing. So this color here, it is a uh, brown, another chocolate, and it has shimmer as well. 
that sunflower had chisel, that black lace, I mean, <laughs> the sunflower had shimmer, the black lace had shimmer, and this um this chocolate color has shimmer as well. This chocolate is um, called Latte, which is the perfect name again. It is a glam and glitz color, and the number is DA86. And that, like I said, that chocolate has shimmer. The chocolate, the black lace, and the uh, satin had shimmer in it. Yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I've leaned more towards the chisel brand now. And also the iGel Beauties. I started uh, building my collection. And I'll share that with you guys probably in the next couple of videos. I'll be sharing that with you. Okay, so we're going to move right along to this beautiful pink color here, which is called Michelle. Michelle. When I think every time I hear Michelle, I think Obama. <laughs> Michelle, honey. Michelle is beautiful stepping in here with her pretty self. She pretty. She has shimmer as well. And it is really beautiful. All of these come from that same collection. And this one, um, it's actually a different collection, actually. But it has the same gl glitter um, shimmer look. And it's called Michelle. It's a glam and glitz. And it's C-A. C is in car. Or Charles. C-A-3-0-8 is the number for this beautiful pink um, called Michelle. Yeah, it's beautiful. Come through, Michelle. Okay, that's it for Michelle. She's looking beautiful. Well, guess not. <laughs> this did give me a moment to catch my breath. I think I just, I'm always running from here to there. I think I really just ran in here and sat down and started. This video, out of breath. So, this did give me a little bit of time to kind of catch my breath in between the breaks. Okay, so this next color here is a beautiful red. And it kind of reminds me of like a jelly red, but it's not transparent. It's opaque. So um, this is called Janet. And it is a glam and glitz brand acrylic. Its number is CA320. And it's a beautiful red. Like I said, it kind of reminds you like of a jelly bean or something like that. I wouldn't say candy apple because I think candy apple would be a little bit um a little deeper maybe. So um I'm thinking like a red jelly bean or something, which I hate. I hate red jelly beans. But um that's what it looks like. It's a little bit on the um jelly look inside, but it's not um transparent. It's not um you can't see through it, it's opaque, so that's a beautiful color. And that's Janet. 
Glam and Glitz CA320. When I'm swatching my acrylics, you guys, just for the swatching purpose, um, I usually don't do them really um, thick because I like to preserve all the product that I can. So I don't do my, um, I don't swatch them. Like I don't make sure my swatches have a an apex or anything like that. I just swatch them very thin. I do the color as solid as possible. But if it if it's not really solid, I don't really care because it's a swatch and I'm not really going to use that much of my acrylic color on a swatch. So I make sure that my clients can see to get the true idea of the color and I keep it moving. But um, you can see me working with it a little bit just to make sure that it's um, solid enough that they know just what they're getting. OK, so this blue here is called Jennifer. It's a glam and glitz, as you can see. And the number was CA307. And that's Jennifer. That was Jennifer. Because <laughs> Jennifer is gone. Okay, so the color that I'm swatching now, it's called Jade. It's a glam and glitz acrylic color. And the number CA328. And it's Jade. And Jade is actually a little darker than I would think Jade would be. This color green is dark enough. I probably would have called this forest green. And the forest green that I had in the, um, the other color, I probably would have called that something else. Because it's a little bit lighter than I feel like forest green should have been. But that's what this Glam and Glitz Jade is giving me. <laughs> okay, so the color that I'm swatching now... It's a beautiful gray, and it's called Private Island. It's a glam and glitz, the number is CPA38D, and it's a beautiful gray. Some of them, I know a lot of people say glam and glitz colors marbleize. Some of them do marbleize, but it's not often that I get a color that do marbleize. I think out of the my entire collection of um, Glam and Glitz colors, I may have like a couple, maybe like two that, that did marbleize. So, well, that do marbleize when you swatch them. This beautiful blue color that I'm swatching now is called Lighthouse. It is a Glam and Glitz um, acrylic. It's number is CPA 362 and that is Lighthouse. Yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, um I've been my my glam and glitz been doing pretty good with the marble marbleization when you try to build your um your nail. Okay, so next in line we have palm tree this is a very, this is a really pretty springy color. Definitely spring color. <clears throat> when I saw it, I was like, ooh, palm tree got to go home with me. It's a glam and glitz. The number is CPA365. And it's called palm trees. I think that's my love language. Anything that has to do with Florida, the water, palm trees, pineapples, Boat rides. I could just go on and on and on. I love Florida. It's calling my name. Florida. Ooh, that palm tree is so pretty. So pretty. Don't forget to pick you up some palm tree. 
Okay, this next color is a neon color. The next three are. And this color pink, this beautiful, bright, beautiful, vibrant pink with shimmer. It has shimmer, you guys. It's not a flat pink. It does have shimmer. It's called Bikini Bottom. And it's a Glam and Glitz CPA325. Or is it 385? I think that's 385, you guys. Sorry. So it's CPA385 Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottom. And the reason you see me having, even though they all glam and glitz, they're from different um, collections. That's how I separated them. So each um, section of acrylics each new selection you know that that was a different um collection that it came from so this beautiful bright neon orange here is called popsicle glam and glitz cpa 349 and it's called popsicle For some reason, when I saw that, I just wanted to sing Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. I don't know why. It, that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> nothing to do with nothing. Okay, so this beautiful, vibrant neon green is called Water Park. Now, what in the world does a water park have to do with this color green? I don't know. Somebody chime in in the comments and let me know because I'm confused. Why would they name a neon green water park? But that's what it's called. It's a Glam and Glitz CPA number 354. 354 in the Glam and Glitz water park. Okay, you guys, that actually concludes um, this video. I appreciate you guys tuning in to watch me swatch um, the acrylic colors that I got in my last haul. Maybe it helps somebody or introduce somebody to um, some new colors or some different colors that they didn't have. However, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also um, share. <laughs> share this video. You guys have a good one. Bye.